Juliet. Romeo, what is it? What is this? What? Oh, toothpaste. How many times have I warned you not to squeeze it in the middle? Oh my god, did you really wake me up because of this petty thing? Did I hear you say petty? Now listen, the next time this happens, I'm going to chop off your hand. Oh my god, this guy woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Got in now. Sorry? No. No. I'm really tired now, and all I want to do is to eat and go to bed. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? I'm going to come in early tomorrow morning, then we sort it out. Is that okay? All right. See you in the morning then. What are these? What's wrong? I'm tired of cleaning up after you and your baby. I mean, look where you put your shoes. Your socks even stink. But I was going to take them in when my phone rang. That's not a good excuse, okay? Just take them up. You know what? You need the mental checkup. Juliet, what are you doing to yourself? See, you're completely burnt out. You hardly have time to rest. Can you hear your husband snoring? That's all he does. Come back from work, eat and go to bed. Hmm, wait a minute. I hope I'm not being selfish. I mean, he goes to work during the day and works his personal business when he comes back from work. Well, that's still not anywhere near what I go through daily. Don't worry, girl. It'll be over soon. She has it easy on her. It's really cool to be a full-time housewife, cook and look after a baby while I have to juggle my full-time job and my personal business. <sighs> to become a man really comes with a high price tag. Where is the TV remote? It should be by the TV. No, it's not. Oh my God. Why should I repeat myself all the time? I've told you to always leave it by the TV whenever it's not being used. What is wrong? Enough! Okay, stop talking to me like a child. What has gone into you? Always picking a fight over silly things. I mean, have you lost your mind? How dare you talk to me? Why should I repeat myself? Why should I, why should I, you need the mental check. You need the mental check. You need the mental check. Because your socks even stink. Stop talking to me. 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 Stop tal
I owe you no apologies. You should apologize to me instead. You are so annoying! You've become a monster! And you've honed your nagging skills! You're a Jezebel! You know what? I am sick and tired of being a full-time housewife! And I am sick and tired of being a full-time working husband! Fine! Beautiful! Good morning, little angel. How was your night? Oh, don't worry. You're in a good hand. That is going to do a better job than mommy. Now, listen, angel. From now on, you have to learn to follow a new routine. And the first thing when you wake up in the morning is to take your bath before you eat. <laughs> so, let's go do that. Mm. Hello, Angel. Don't worry, that is getting better at this. Mm. Would you like to eat something? Yeah, when will soon come? Hello. Welcome. Mommy is here. And how is my angel doing? Your angel is fine. Oh, I know. How's the full time house has been called there? Well, to be honest with you, this is the coolest job anyone could ever have. Oh, I'm loving it. Let's see how long we can put up with it for. And I hope my full time working wife is enjoying being young out in the office and enjoying spending hours in the traffic. Mm, it's not that bad. In the time I'll get used to it again. Okay, I'll serve the dinner whenever you're ready. Okay. Which I actually saw. Da da da. Yeah.
Ash your money is to do all this. Oh. Not again. See, the food is burnt and now you mess yourself up again. to this girl. No, I can't do that now. You want duty just give her cow's milk. Is everything okay? No. I lost my job. You lost what? On what basis? What happened? When I got back to work, I found out that the environment was no longer supportive. I noticed a serious shift in my boss's attitude. I had been determined to perform my duties to the best of my ability, but... My mind is constantly on our daughter. Now when you called me to tell me that she's refused to take whatever you've given her, I feel guilty. Because of this, I struggled to concentrate at work. Then the last time I came home to breastfeed Sharon, I got a verbal warning from my boss the next day. She said the company can no longer work around my personal needs. She seemed to think that I was less determined to do my job now that I'm a mother. I mean, I even agreed to work longer hours, but in spite of this, I still lost my job. I'm gonna have to start looking for a new job. No, you don't have to. I mean, your monthly take home is not even enough to feed the family. Even when we were both working, it was clear that we don't need two salaries to feed this family. I think we went a bit overboard with this raw sort of a thing. What is happening to us? We weren't like this before. You're right. It's just that we have allowed several issues to build up and swept under the carpet without being addressed. Whatever it is, we have to talk about it today.
truly sorry for all that I've done to you. You know, most of the time I react is not what you say or do, but I react based on the stupid feelings that I've had from before. You know, I used to think I was a slave, doing all the chores and looking after our daughter, getting no help from you whatsoever. Don't be an angry woman. You know I have to juggle two jobs to feed this family. Well, I know I've offended you as well. And I'm deeply sorry about that. But to be honest with you, I wasn't really aware of some of the things you said. But come to think of it, I'm not insane. You should have known that something must have pushed me to start behaving that way. I think it all started towards your third trimester. You started focusing too much on yourself and the unborn child. You started to ignore my feelings and need as a man. And when the child came around, all the love, care and attention that I used to get was diverted towards her. Then you should have called my attention to her. Come on. How can I explain such feelings to you at that time? I even found it difficult to come to terms with the fact that I was jealous of my own child. I'm human too. I need love, care and attention. I mean, when was the last time we made love to each other? I don't want to go out there and enjoy what I should be enjoying at home. I'm sorry. But let's just not let the past affect what we've got now. I'm sorry too. Busy day. I'm really tired. Mm. I was really busy at the office today. Yeah, let me take your bag for you. You know what? What? I'm not going to work tomorrow. How come? I want to give you a nice treat to make up for the lost time. Really? Yes, I want to treat you like the queen you've always been. Okay. Oh, my God, a shower queen. I'll get up. <laughs> spoiled me today. So I wish for more of this day. Your wish has been granted. And that means from next month you're going to be having a day off every week. You're going to be excused from doing any form of work, which means I'm going to be looking after you and Sharon and do all the house chores. Both work? No, role taking. Honey, <laughs> <sighs> I've missed you so much. I missed you too. You know, you really are sweet whenever you're not angry. I don't ever want to go back to such an experience. It's good to see a smile on your face again. I mean, there's no marriage without a problem actually. I think we just need to learn how to manage our differences. And communicate more. And, and don't go to bed angry? Mm, I like that. I love you. I love you too. 